Today, we're going to talk about stand-up scooters. Friggin' right we are. How you doing? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host. Friggin' right I am. Belsif. Why wouldn't I be? I was in looking at some scooters, because instead of taking the old decent with me every time, if I could take a scooter, she'd be mint. Jim. I've been looking around and I looked at one and it was like two grand. This was an actual scooter scooter. And I was like, no, nah, I just want a stand-up scooter with maybe a seat on it. You know those little gasoline 49cc jobs we got? Yeah, something like that. I'm him and Han looking around. Nothing. I can't find nothing. I thought to myself, frag. Ah, I'll just wait. So anyways, I get home last night and I'm looking around the house and thinking to myself, man, I really need a scooter. What's up? Oh, hold on, boys, girls, peoples. Our water tank's full. Getting ready for a little Sparta action we are. Aw, oh, decent. Actually, I guess I gotta shut the hose off first, don't I? So anyways, I, I went to bed last night thinking I should really get one. And then I come home tonight and I thought to myself, Holy dicks when I was cutting the lawn. I had to cut the lawn tonight, get the pool ready for the girls and stuff, because like I said, I'm going to St. Thomas. But to make a long story short, when I was cutting the grass, I, th I seen one of my pocket bikes. Remember I had pocket bikes given to me? Hey, Trev, remember that? So I thought to myself, Frig! I got three pocket bikes. So I tore apart. I did. So there's one right there. I took the engine out of that one. There's another one that I took the engine out of. And there's another one just kind of sitting there doing nothing. That's what reminded me of it. That guy right there. Again, looking at the motors, this guy here, it looked pretty friggin' decent. That motor doesn't look too bad. It was missing this and a bolt was snapped off. So I quickly welded a nut on that where it was snapped off and turned that out. And it had one broke off in the exhaust, which is right there, Jim, which I got out. Friggin' right, but look at the cylinder in there. Careful, I don't know if you can see it or not. She's friggin' mint. And compression, so I put one motor together. Out of two. I still got the other one, but it's kind of dicked over. And I got an exhaust pipe right here for it. Look at that thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build my own stand-up scooter with a seat out of these. So I gotta get on the internet tonight and order some cables, because I need longer cables. But I figured, what a better friggin' way to make a scooter than make your own. That way I can put a seat on it, like a little, just a little bike seat, right? Just to sit down and relax a little bit, like you're taking a poop when you're driving it and put a couple baskets on it, weld them up, and Bob's your friggin' uncle. So leave your comments down below if you wanna see that happen because, well, it's gonna happen. But leave your comments below if you like to see that happen. If you don't wanna see it happen, I won't record it, but if you wanna see it happen, I'll record it. So leave your comments down below, why wouldn't you? And subscribe and like too while you're at it. Hey, I would. But we're getting the trailer ready again. We're gonna go to St. Thomas, so I won't be doing the scooter thing this weekend, but maybe next weekend we'll do that, and I'm off the week after. So we'll have that thing wrapped up. It shouldn't take me too long. We should be able to weld up and fabricate up a stand-up scooter probably in about three or four hours, Jim. It's just uh, getting the motor lined up with the ass end and stuff, and I already got some ideas in the pumpkin here. I work off ideas in the pumpkin. I don't really go by a plan, but I'm gonna use that front end because it looks better. And I gotta use that sprocket because it's bigger. I'm gonna use a bigger chain. I got you whipping all over the place, Jim. I'm excited. I'm excited to build a scooter that's just gonna wrap. Friggin' right I am. I just wanted to get on here real quick. How do you like my mess? It's pretty friggin' decent. Don't get uh, jealous about it. You know, this is how I roll sometimes. There you go, look at all the floor room I just gained by doing that. That's what happens when something comes to my head, I just kinda explode with ideas and rip down on excitement. So this is gonna be friggin' awesome. I can't friggin' wait. So I just wanted to pop on here real quick. I didn't want to stay on here too long. This is just a real short video for you. A real short vloggage. I wanted to let you know what I'm gonna do there and I'm hoping you guys will come along for the ride because it's gonna be friggin' awesome. Friggin' right. Oh, and I got something else coming up too. I end up getting from the old junkyard Ruski because you know my box is a little crusty. I get some flares for the old Silverado. I don't like that wheelbarrow look. So I also ordered myself some two inch wheel spacers. So I'm not gonna put them on until that comes in and then we'll do that together. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see that. Why wouldn't you? I definitely put a lot of water in the old tank Ruski. She's still pouring out. I definitely filled her up. Kim, you gotta load her up with fresh water. Friggin' right. I contacted Sparta. St. Thomas Raceway, three times by text. I tried calling them all week and they haven't got back to me whether there's a spot there for me or not. So I'm just gonna take the chance and go because I can't wait for them to talk back to me. Like, come on guys, what's really going on? Don't make me diss you. Text you back. Now. Holy, that box is dicked. My box is done. Look at it. Just cock right over. 
It's got the typical Chevy disease it does. I'll grind and cut all that out and then we'll put the fender flare on it. And I got some new uh, box sides up there for it. So maybe we'll slap them on first and then put the flares on. Just so she's solid. Solid as a Chevy will get. The best way to make this thing solid is get a new box to be honest with you. So anything bad on the truck is a box. I should just take it off and build a redneck fucking camper trailer, eh? Just build a friggin' wooden box with windows in it and just make it a redneck and that way when I go to the races I only have to bring my pickup truck sleep right in the back. That'd be the way to do her. Friggin' yeah, would. Leave a comment down below if you want to see that happen. That's not gonna happen. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. It is Thursday. So tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow we go for a rip and we see our buddy from Guelph Racing. Make sure you check him out. Look it up. Why wouldn't you? Guelph Racing. Good stuff. Right, Ben? Freaking right here. Anyways, have a good night. And love y'all. And you know what to do for now.